Hi, this is Keith with PharmacyTechStudy.com and this is a video on question 8 on quiz number 6 and it asks which of the following quantities would be correct for this formula and it gives you three different chemicals and then it says it's a 1 to 1 ratio mit 60 grams and mit 60 grams that just means 60 grams is the, um, the quantity that we're looking for and so let's go ahead and go to the whiteboard and I'll show you how to figure this out. So the first thing you don't want to get tripped up on is the uh, concentration strength of each of those chemicals. Uh, those uh, don't matter at all as far as solving this question. And so what does matter the most basically is two things. The first one is that we want a desired mass of 60 grams uh, when we're done. And then the other important factor is that it's going to be a 1 to 1 ratio. And then thirdly, the chemicals are listed in sequential order to follow the ratio. And so betamethasone is going to be this part of the ratio here, ketoconazole here, and hydrocortisone here. And so what that means is um, when we're done, we're going to have a mixture of one part betamethasone, two parts ketoconazole, and one part hydrocortisone. And so that's a total of four parts. So what we need to do is we need to divide this by four. And what that gives us is 15 grams per part. And then after that, now that we know how much is in each part, we can distribute it through our ratio. So 15 times 1 is 15 grams. So we know we're going to need 15 grams of that. 15 times 2 is 30. 30 grams of ketoconazole. And 15 times 1 is 15. 15 grams of hydrocortisone. And so let's look back at our answers. And it looks to me like D would be the correct answer. It is the only uh, quantity of any of these that fits our ratio and is the correct answer to the question.